Hi guys, I'm Boris, the builder from Line and Form Construction. I'm here again at our Cooper Roos site in Brisbane. Now, as you may be able to see behind me, the swimming pool shell has been complete, the earthworks uh, cut and fill have been done, and the retaining walls are 90% complete. So the next stage of the construction process are the foundations and slab. So the importance of this stage of the process cannot be overstated. It is the foundation that will ensure your home will stand the test of time and last for the many decades to come. So let's go have a look what it's all about. We start by setting out the location of the building. Our surveyors measure and mark the corners of the building and any other critical points. With the surveyors pins in place, we begin the excavation of the foundations. The depth and width of the foundations are determined by the engineering design. As the dig continues, the trenches are cleaned and tidied in preparation for the reinforcing steel. Piers may be required for a number of reasons. In this case, due to the proximity to the swimming pool, piers were required to eliminate any influence from the building onto the pool structure. Reinforcing steel is placed and tied into position. The steel is fixed onto plastic spaces, commonly referred to as chairs, to allow for the appropriate concrete cover. Once our engineers have inspected and given approval, we are ready to pour concrete. A concrete pump is used to pump the concrete from the trucks to the foundations. In this case, a boom pump was used, which can extend over the site without interfering with anything on the ground. Concrete is pumped into the exact location as needed by our team. The finished height of the foundations is predetermined and measured using a laser level. Our concreters screed and finish the concrete to produce a smooth, flat surface. While the concrete is still wet and fluid, vertical reinforcing bars are placed at regular intervals. These bars will later connect the foundations to the slab. Safety caps are placed onto the vertical bars and the foundations are complete. The site is left for the concrete to set and we are now ready for the next stage.